Hi guys, um, I thought I'll just do a quick video just to update on Young Pharaoh's court cases for them charges that he had. So looking at this screenshot, clearly we can see that he made bond um, $12,500 and his next court date is the 29th of June. So he's got another two months to be out here roaming the streets, moving wild, scam the community, chat shit and abuse the black community in specific, black women as well. I mean, really? This just lets me know that this guy is an official government informant. Nobody can literally convince me otherwise because there is absolutely no way somebody can commit all these crimes that they've committed, behave this way, have a mental literally a mental physical aggressive breakdown and still just be out here like nothing's happened like i don't completely understand the justice and the court system in the us i will admit that however i'm sure if like a regular person was to you know threaten people with guns and knives and threaten to murder them and like post it on the internet on instagram on youtube and you know try and hire hitmen and how people he'll pay them if they did this to this person and all these kind of things and also be involved in literal murders and confess to being involved in them and being found guilty in one specific murder of a 16 year old and scam the community out of thousands and thousands of dollars and <laughs> literally abuse women and admit to abusing women physically assaulting them and the list goes on but yet he only spends about a year in prison and he doesn't get charged and sent to jail. Like, he's literally out here free. He's posting on Instagram, on YouTube, chatting shit as per usual. And he also said that he's issuing a cease and desist against people commenting on his court cases. Bitch. <laughs> Listen, ain't nobody going to stop me from posting about this shit. Okay. What you going to do, nigga? <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> you can't do shit, so stop talking shit. Oh, it's, it makes me so sick. But yeah, nobody can, nobody, nobody at all can convince me that this guy is not a snitch. Clearly he is. Clearly he is. He has friends in the police, in the court system. He gets, he can get away with murder, literally. He literally has already. He already has. So clearly, we're dealing with a certified snitch. How crazy is that? And all his supporters are just stupid, honestly. It's just stupid at this point, like the amount of information, the amount of people that have exposed him. And if you can't see for yourself that this guy is just a wrong un, then you need your head testing because clearly anyone that can be on the internet cursing their, chil their children's mothers and their parents and putting hits on their heads and talking to them like they're literal garbage shit on his shoe anyone that can follow that and support that clearly has no respect for themselves or has no kind of morals or anything just I just can't do you know what I mean I'm literally at a loss for words to describe the kind of people that support him and the people that continue to donate to him like are you like crazy <laughs> what are you doing this guy claims to be a trillionaire, but you, he's still asking for GoFundMe and donations to his cash app. And you clowns are still doing it. You lot are nuts. Honestly, you've definitely lost the plot. Clearly. Yeah, so guys, if we look at um, one of these articles um, for the murder of a 16-year-old that I mentioned earlier. Like, look at the title. Murder, gun possession and witness intimidation all results in criminal conviction. So obviously, there's a lot to read, so I'm not going to read it all. But if we scroll down to the end, you can see they're clearly talking about Daniels, which is Marshall Daniels, Marshall Jeannie Daniels, a.k.a. Young Pharaoh. Um, so I'm just going to read the last part of it. On August 3, 2012, in the vicinity of High and Sherman Streets in the city of Buffalo, Daniels was found in possession of a loaded and operable 9mm Smith & Wesson semi-automatic pistol by Buffalo Police. Officers 
Michael Aquino and Mark Hamilton. Daniels was successfully prosecuted by Assistant District Attorney Brian Langenfield. Daniels faces a maximum prison term of 15 years in state prison, as well as additional jail time in connection with a violation of probation when he is sentenced on November 14, 2003, sorry, 2013, in front of Judge Pichiruska. Um, Yeah, so basically, what the hell? What the hell? And so we know, based on this information back in 2013, that he only spent like a year and about six months or eight months in prison. And then the other two people involved, they got, was it 25 years? Yeah, it says here, her face the maximum state prison sentence of 25 years to life. Like, how can you be involved and only get a year and a bit? Instead of 15 years or even 25 years that your friends got. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I just can't understand how somebody can get be involved in so much crime and not really pay the price or have any um, repercussions. Do you know what I mean? Like, he can clearly get away with murder, literally. He can literally do anything and he will not be found guilty and he'll still be out here roaming the streets, scamming the community, you know, getting money, spending it on frivolous stupidness and then begging the community again, telling the community he hates them, he doesn't support them, then begging the community again. Like, he does the same thing over and over. And then obviously we saw the other day from the pictures when he visited Costa Rica that the land was, obviously just looks like hills and mountains and a forest. I don't really know what he's going to do there doesn't even make sense to me and obviously in the video um I think Healing Within and a few other YouTubers have broke it down where obviously the guy and the women in the video they're talking about if you buy this land and if you get this land so clearly he hasn't got the land he's making like monthly payments on it to secure the land and then even then if that was the first time visiting it then he's just stupid because that doesn't even make any sense like why would you be buying land that you haven't even physically visited or seen in the first place and what are you going to do do you know what I mean like it's going to cost you millions of dollars to redevelop that land and create what he wants to call a whole palace in Costa Rica like what 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 is he on like this clown he's just so delusional like we're gonna have to just wait and see and watch and watch him fail because this is the fall of Pharaoh literally like since last year was it May times this, these times last year anyway, we've been starting to witness the fall of Pharaoh. Him and his fake conscious community scan scandal is literally coming out and it's exposing himself. So, yeah, it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. He needs to be behind bars or under the ground, literally. If I could get a hitman, I mean, I don't know if I can say these things on YouTube. Let me just say that. Obviously, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking and I'm not being serious, but I mean, if I could, I would, because somebody needs to take him out, like, what he's done is is so disgusting and disturbing, yeah, and his followers that are still kind of out here supporting him and not really realising what's going on or not understanding or choosing to be blind to the facts, it's very disturbing, and obviously we're also seeing the fall of Nature Boy, I don't even know too much about Nature Boy. I've heard about him being mentioned a couple of times, but I've never looked into him. I've never watched him. So I don't really understand the whole background and the history. But I do know that he had land or he had some kind of um, similar ideas about Costa Rica. So it seems to me like Pharaoh is getting his insight from this guy because clearly they knew each other. As we can find evidence of that on youtube you can just search young pharaoh and nature boy and see the videos that they've done together you know the interviews that they've done together the little sermons that they did together they play chess together they had like a double date together like very disturbing and, and this all the stuff that's come out about nature boy it's like it seems like pharaoh is trying to follow down his path and another thing as well i wanted to mention he always talking about um, another YouTuber or community person, whatever, called Rashad Jamal, that's kind of stealing his ideas and stealing his music and stealing his teaching. And it's like, 
nobody ain't stealing anything like you you stole your information as well you never got your information um authentically you stole that as well you stole it from other youtubers and facebookers and you said that you studied other people's information so everyone's literally doing the same thing so who do you think you are you short shit <laughs> you little midget with short man syndrome like i cannot deal honestly Listen, I just want to say this. He ain't got you living like this, baby. Like, why Why are you making stories about Rashad Jamal's wife asking her to come and live with you or whatever you're trying to do? You're just trying to be disrespectful. Like, why would she leave um, a six foot guy to be with a five foot five guy? Why would she do that? Look at you. You just look like an overgrown ant. Ain't nobody, <laughs> don't nobody want you. Listen, sir, my love, darling. <laughs> nobody is checking for you. Like you in that big empty house by yourself, that musty yard. Like you, you don't do nothing but chat shit all day on the internet and beg for donations. Like don't nobody want you. Nobody ain't checking for you. After you had your whole face in a porn star's a hole dirty underneath. Ain't nobody checking for you. You fell off. Do you know what I mean? You ain't the pharaoh that you portrayed yourself to be a couple of years ago. That guy was, do you know what I mean? Had people fooled and you had this image where people would like think, oh, this guy is so smart. This guy's got so much information. This guy is so polite. This guy, do you know what I mean? He's so knowledgeable. He's so knowledgeable. He's such a good person. You've gone from people thinking that to this guy is a clown. This guy is a crackhead. This guy is a fool. This guy don't know what respect is. He don't know how to um, take any accountability for any of his actions. Um, and, you know, I've also noticed recently a couple of people have been in my comments asking me if I'm why do I talk about him so much or, do you know, he's not a bad person. I'm just thinking, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? Like, do you not see what's been going on? Clearly, you're delusional. And if you want to actually have a mature conversation, then let me know in the comment. Just say that you don't have to try and insult me because this doesn't work. I don't know you and you don't know me. So anything that you say doesn't offend me. You're just an idiot. <laughs> I just think you're a fool. You're just a foolish person. But if you actually want to have a mature conversation, then let me know in the comment and I'll find a way for us to go live and have an open discussion on why you still support this clown and why I don't and we can go from there but yeah besides that that's all I'm gonna say and um, so take care guys and speak to you soon